Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. This is a very big tragedy. The rate at which people are dying is becoming too much and it's so sad because we human beings are dying from the hands of our own fellow human beings that's why it's so so painful today a horrible incident has just happened one of the pastor at the enlightened christian gathering that's ecg church which is located in south africa this particular pastor the unfortunate thing happened while this pastor was actually praying and carrying on activities in church he decided that okay let them now go to the mountain you know sometimes some people would want to go to some places or so we'll go to the forest or we'll go to the mountains they pray and they fast while he did that he decided to move from the church and then they should go up to the mountain and pray which is what some people decide to do and while he decided to do this and started these prayers on the mountain the next thing people heard was a gunshot someone shot directly at this particular pastor he was praying when this horrible incident happened and when this took place a lot of people started running helter skelter because no one knew where this gunshot was coming from or who shot and what would be the next thing for them definitely don't expect people to still stand there and they shot directly at this pastor and he died there instantly. Isn't this very, very scary? These days, people don't even have fear for God. They don't even have fear that these are people that are doing what God has called them to do. They go ahead and kill them. People are on the streets walking, either going back home from work, or amidst friends, someone will just appear from nowhere and start shooting. People are living in fear these days. Different countries, different acts of evil are happening in different form. How can someone go ahead and shoot a pastor? Someone who is praying, he's not stealing. Neither did he go there to go and do anything horrible. He was only praying and then someone from nowhere decided that they don't want this man to live anymore he's just so sad however the late pastor of the church owned by the popular pastor a lot of people know this malawian pastor who is known as shepherd bushiri that particular church that the pastor was heading that's the enlightened christian gathering ecg was owned by him and the name of the late pastor who died is known as eric buka it's a very painful moment, especially his own family. They are so sad and heartbroken to hear that their husband and father who just went up there to pray and never came back home again. These days, a lot of families are not even sure if their loved ones go out of the house, if he or she would even return back home alive. Because the rate at which people are dying these days, it's creating a lot of fear in the hearts of people. It's so, so painful. No family member would wish their loved one dead. No matter what anybody has done to you, the last thing you should ever wish for people is to wish them dead. Instead, you pray that let them see the goodness of God in your life. But nowadays, the reverse is the case. People would decide to take the laws into their hands. Now, people will retaliate with killing. If someone has offended them, they will decide they don't want this person to leave. It's better they see this person drop dead than allow the person to walk alive. It's a heartbreaking moment right now, even for the congregation and especially people that were present. Imagine how traumatizing it would be for people that were there. Everybody just running. You see people falling on each other because they are scared. Who would be scared if you find yourself in that kind of a place? However, the pastor Bushiri. However, the owner of the church, that's Shepard Bushiri, has also confirmed this horrible incident. And he released a statement this morning saying this, I am greatly pained and grieved 
to learn of the tragic shooting to the death of Apostle Eric Booker, one of our ECG pastors in South Africa. What's even troubling is that our apostle was shot at the prayer mountains where he went to pray, preparing for the great entrance this Sunday. I celebrate you, Apostle Eric. You came, you preached, you won souls, and at your journey's end, you have gone back to where we will all return after finishing the mission of preaching Jesus Christ. It's really sad and heartbreaking. This is the painful news that he released this morning, confirming that this pastor was killed while he was praying on the mountain. Why are people doing this to their fellow human beings? People will go and do God's work, yet you will see that there are people out there that want them dead. All right, look at the other day, late pastor Babatunde Dada, who was killed by people who came to the church claiming they were repentant sinners, unknown to him that he only invited people that would take his own life. They had no fear, no remorse, and they killed this man of God. Now again, the same thing. The other day, another RCCG pastor, Redeemed Christian Church of God pastor, was shot dead inside the church while he was preaching. It's just so scary when you hear that people these days are just going around and killing their fellow human beings. Please, we should all be very prayerful for our loved ones. As you step out of the house, you pray. While you're on your way, you pray. Before you even leave the house, you pray. Pray for your family members. And you that is going out, you should also pray. Because these days, a lot of people are living in fear. The latest one that is happening is the act of ritual killings. Your loved one has gone out. The next thing you hear is come and identify cops. And the worst part is that these cops are empty because they have removed their vital organs. What is really going on? People are struggling and battling with the virus that is going on and trying to stay safe as much as they can. Yet, you are being terrorized by your own fellow human beings. It's so scary that people have lost their conscience and they've thrown it away and decide that they just want to kill people and then move on with their lives. It's so, so painful. Friends, please, let's all be very prayerful. May the soul of Pastor Eric Booker rest in peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console his wife, his kids, his congregation, his entire family members, well-wishers, friends, everyone that knew him, may God console them all. It's a very difficult moment for his family right now. It's so sad. Imagine that you told your loved one goodbye until you return. And the next thing you hear is a phone call. Come and identify the cops of your loved one. It's really difficult. Sometimes some people will not know the pain of losing a loved one because it's not affecting you directly. But you should not be waiting until it affects you directly before you share the grief and the pain of other people. It's not a good thing for anyone to lose anybody. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you could put that down at the comment section. Once again, may his soul rest in peace and may God console his entire family members. Friends, once again, please be very, very prayerful. The world is wicked these days. A lot of horrible things are happening out there. Thank you for coming up today. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.